Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Helltide specifically and how you can get a ton of legendary gear with doing them. So a lot of people are just going for exactly what they need, right? They're going for the jewelry chest or the gift of protection or maybe even going for a one-hand or two-handed weapon, which costs quite a bit of shards. One thing you're missing out on is there are chests that give you lots of legendary gear in here you just can't see them so let's teleport down there and talk a little bit about these chests and how you can get legendary gear very fast doing this specifically so as we teleport you're going to be able to zoom in on your map um, when we get there let's take a look so if we zoom in on our map you can actually already see you know where these gift of protections are and where all these chests are located so gift of protection we have um, a couple others but Let's see. So another gift of protection. Three gift of protections actually in this little area. We have weaponry in the top left. We have weaponry in the top left again. So there's going to be a chest that you don't see on the map called a tortured gift of mysteries. And what's cool about this is that these drop a ton of different legendaries for you. Typically, I get about three to five legendaries from these drops. And they're usually very good legendaries, it seems like. So definitely take advantage of this. I'm going to throw up on the screen after the video or at the end of the video all of the different locations for each area. So definitely take a look at those and take advantage of this. It takes 175 cinders, but in every single situation I've been in, it seems to be the best way to go about it. So I'm going to kill some things for a little bit, get to 175, and then we're going to jump over there and uh, we're going to take a look at the gift of mysteries here in a little bit and show you what it looks like. All right, so I got 179 cinders in probably 10 minutes, and realistically, I found about zero bosses doing that, so it's very quick, and actually, let's see how many legendaries we got as well. So we got three legendaries, and uh, we got 179 cinders in less than 10 minutes, so three legendaries already. Let's take that Altar of Lilith as well. Haven't gotten that one for some reason, but uh, we have the Tortured Gift of Mysteries right here. 175 cinders to actually open, so let's open it on up. Um, and like I said, this usually gets you three to five legendaries, depending. So let's see how much we get this time. We got four, and they're all ancestral. So very, very solid and always worth doing. So in 10 minutes, I was able to get uh, a guaranteed three to five. And then plus, I got three while I was doing it, one of those being ancestral. So I got five legendaries, five ancestral legendaries in uh, 10 minutes. So just really, really good gear. Definitely suggest going to Helltides and doing the specific... Um, tortured gift of mysteries you can see all these guys doing the same thing it's something that is very very underrated in the game right now i would suggest doing these and then if you're looking for xp you can leave right after you do the gift of mysteries for that hell tide of the day or sorry not of the day but of that hour um, but it's very very good like i said for fast legendary so if you guys are interested let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this kind of content and if you have not already like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i'll see you all in the next one